Now, the next part is important and one that you probably won't find on a lot of videos about tweaking windows for audio. And that is a program called Inspector. So earlier this year, a vulnerability in Intel processor was, was found. I believe AMD might be slightly affected as well. But Intel ended up sending out patches for these two viruses or malware, whatever you want to call them, called Spectre and Meltdown. And the problem with that is, especially on older processors, it'll affect speed quite a bit. Well, if you would rather take the risk, which I have chosen to do, you can download this program for free, and I will link to it below. And when you disable it, it helps with performance. I want to thank Gibson Research Corporation for making this program because you guys saved my butt. You absolutely did. By the way, if you think that you didn't update your drivers, you're absolutely wrong. This was a Windows update that went out, so you may or may not have it. This program will tell you, and then it'll allow you to disable both of them or just disable one, if that's your thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, this program's awesome, and that's all I can say. Now, here's another suggestion that a lot of people won't tell you, and that is to come down here where your internet connection thingy is <laughs> and choose Open Network and Sharing Center. And now what you want to do is click Change Adapter Settings, and then... Some people might have two, some might have one. Either way, what you want to do before you hit record or you mix, right click and choose disable. Now, what will that do? That'll take you off the internet. Now, why is that important? Because guess what? No matter what you're doing, even if your computer is just sitting there, if your computer is hooked to the internet, your router is probably communicating with your computer and eating up CPU cycles. Also, I've heard that it's a little bit more stable to be off the internet whenever possible. And on top of that, if you have some kind of USB Wi-Fi device or a built-in Wi-Fi device inside of your laptop, it's very possible that that could interfere with audio recording either with the data or with radio frequency interference or electromagnetic interference, something like that. So you want to disable anything that might be causing radio waves near your stuff. Speaking of which, here's another piece of advice. And I'm going to re-enable this, by the way, because, well, you know, I normally have it on and it works fine. Here's another random tip. For some reason, USB audio interfaces, they tend to work better. If you have a USB 2.0 audio interface, they work better in USB 2 ports over USB 3 or above. So if you're ever having stability issues, consider plugging it into USB 2 if you aren't already. All right, so the final thing that I want to say is when you are recording, your goal is to use the slowest latency possible without there being an issue with your performer hearing the music tracks a little bit too late or too early a little bit too late and then the timing's off. So what you want to do is actually just test out the different buffer sizes in your audio interface. And this one goes down to 16 samples. So I don't know if 16 samples is stable. I've tried it at the slower ones and it worked fine, but make sure that not only when you update your buffer in your control panel software, but also update it here. And I'm not gonna to touch this because it might crash the computer or at least crash the recording. So, you know, under ASIO, you can look at the options and make sure that whatever your buffer size is, is right here. And I believe Reaper does work with audience driver, but in case it doesn't update, They definitely pick it there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As I said earlier, this is, although it was a long video, it doesn't tell you every little thing that you can tweak. And I will have links in the video description to tell you about all that so that if you aren't tweaked out enough, you can get even more 
tweaks. So thanks for watching. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com. I'll have additional videos on screen that I'd like you to watch about buffer size and other things like that. So I definitely recommend watching those as well.